Welcome um, to the Yarra Hills podcast, which has now become a vidcast. Today we are interviewing Mr. Back- Blackwell. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Blackwell. Morning. Today um, we're just going to dive into the questions. Uh, what do you do at the school? Uh, currently I'm the head of mathematics and IT. Okay. Uh, and I teach senior IT, mathematics, biology and junior IT. How long have you been doing all those subjects? Doing, I've uh, been teaching at this school for 30 years. Oh, wow. Um, in that time, what have you experienced? I've seen the school go from no computers to getting its very first computer, which didn't have a keyboard or a mouse or a screen. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was fed with cards called the PDP-11, and I saw the first Apple computer arrive, the first networked computers arrive, and uh, now we've, uh, I was the first teacher to use internet here. And uh, so I've seen a big change in the, the school, particularly in IT. That's pretty cool. Um, where do you come from? What's your background? My background? I was a student here uh, originally. Wow. So uh, I was here from 1971 to 76, mm-hmm. in the very early days of the school. Uh, before that, uh, I was born in Bendigo and uh, came down to live in Murlbark when I was uh, four. And I've been here ever since. Oh, wow. Um, what was the last book that you read? Well, last book, uh, probably an Agatha Christie called Parker Pine Investigates. Oh, cool, yeah. yeah. It's very good. Yep, yeah, it's a um, good series. Do you have a favourite genre of books? Uh, yeah, look, I, I particularly like science fiction, mm-hmm. um, but there aren't a lot of good writers around anymore, so I, I struggle to find good stuff. Yep. So I, I like going back to the classics. Okay. So now we're going to jump over to our audience for some viewer questions. Our first question asker is James. And James wants to know what car you drive. Toyota Rav. Our next question's from Nikita. Have you ever been overseas? Yes, I have, several times. Where have you gone? Um, <clears throat> the normal Bali, Thailand, Europe. What was your favourite memory from Bali? Uh, when my whole family was there. We were a big family holiday. That's nice. Yeah. Our next question is from Asha. <laughs> what kind of music do you um, like? Well... I'm in my 60s, so I do like the music from the 60s, 50s and 70s. Do you have a favourite artist? Oh, Johnny Farnham. Mm, He's good. Our next question is from Jaden. Favourite part of Australia is a place in Western Australia called the Karajini. I've Um, never heard of it. Oh, it's just all gorges and you can walk through them and there's waterfalls and... Oh, sounds um, really pretty. Swim, uh, absolutely beautiful. So do you go camping and caravanning a lot? Yep. Yeah? Uh, the Karajani is in Western Australia, um, North Western Australia, and it is not far from Karatha. Okay. It's in the Pilbara, what they call the Pilbara. Okay, re the question. So where is it? Uh, the Karajani is in the Pilbara, which is part of Western Australia, which is probably more north than south. Um, it is very hot there, um, very dry most of the time, but it, when it rains, then that's when all the waterfalls come to life and, and it's uh, pretty green in places. Uh, okay, so that is the end of the first podcast. Uh, thank you for taking time out of your busy day to talk to us, Carol. No worries. And that's a wrap. Start rolling again. Just fight out your me. Okay. Um, okay. Wait, so where do I go from? Do you want me to start from the books? So he's already answered the question. He's yeah. kind of going backwards. Okay. Um, what do you like about Agatha Christie? Uh, what do I like about Agatha Christie? I guess the uh, the twist that's usually at the end of the story, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, it'd be nice to be able to guess who did it, but often that's close to impossible. They're just just not written that way. Yeah. Uh, and I like the characters, particularly Hercule, uh, Hercule Poirot. Uh, yeah. It's probably my favourite. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um, when I was younger, I used to watch the show with my dad yep. a lot, and. He never used to like reading, and then he got into Tiger the Christine as read ever since. So he's also a fan of yep. the mystery sort of murder. Cool. Books. Um, so, what was the last holiday? You went on? Last holiday. Oh, that's a long time ago. I don't do holidays. I'm uh, stuck here at school most mm-hmm. of the year. I've got to do all the animal feeding in the holidays. Mm-hmm. So the most I do, uh, uh, I took three days last year. 
Uh, it was probably the, the last holiday I had, and I went all the way to Emerald. Okay. Uh, so not a, not a long distance. What's Emerald like? Uh, Emerald's really pretty. Uh, it's lots of uh, native bushland and lots of native animals around, and uh, uh, there's a nice little place that I've stayed at a couple of times with my wife that, that we really like. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what was the last movie you saw? Last movie? Uh, wow. Um, now we're going back. Uh, don't usually go to the cinema. So probably the last movie is I've, I've started rewatching the uh, original Star Wars films. Okay. So they'd be the, not not the more recent and and uh, but episode uh, was that four, five, and six. I'm working through at the moment. Okay. Um, do you what do you like about Star Wars in particular? Uh, I guess I started. I saw Star Wars the first film I saw the year after I left high school, and it was a real groundbreaking film the, the special effects were fantastic mm -hmm. the storyline was really different from anything else that was around uh, and so I really just thought it was a, it was a real um, engaging film and the series was was great the characters were great wasn't thrilled with the more recent ones mm -hmm. uh, in fact I haven't watched a lot of those but the original ones were, were just superb cinematic films yeah okay great um, now we're going to jump to the audience for some viewer questions What car do you drive? Uh, I drive an old Hyundai uh, Elantra. Okay. Yeah, what kind of music do you listen to? Uh, I'm a bit old-fashioned, so I like big band music from the 40s, 30s and 40s, so Glenn Miller, Benny Goodman, that sort of thing. Okay. What, what sort of things do you do at home? Uh, what sort of things do I do at home? Um, I'm, I'm really into computer games, so... Uh, uh, I'm playing one called Subnautica at the moment, which is a, uh, uh, a little bit like No Man's Sky, if, if uh, viewers know that one, uh, but uh, science fiction based and uh, really interesting. A little bit like Minecraft, but uh, the graphics are quite different. Okay, cool. Um, what's your favourite part of Australia? Favourite part of Australia? Uh, look, probably Bendigo. Uh, I've got a real soft spot for Bendigo. I was born there. Uh, my grandparents used to live there, so I'd go back often for holidays. And uh, if I do get away, sometimes I still go back there to just have a look at the old houses that uh, I'm familiar with. And uh, it's just a real piece of Australian history with the gold mining and so on. Okay, um, well, that concludes our Yarra Hills vidcast. Thank you for taking your time out of your busy day for us. Um, no yeah. problem. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, welcome to the Yarra Hills podcast, which has now become a vidcast. Today we are interviewing Carol. Welcome, Carol. Today we're going. To, sorry. Today we are going to dive straight into questions. Okay, you don't mind that. Okay, first thing first. What do you do at this school? I'm an integration aide. Could you go more into depth on what you do as an integration? Well, mostly I help kids that have funding in the school, but then you end up helping everybody in the class anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Cool, because cool, someone like me, I don't entirely understand what your job was. But, yeah, thank you for that you bit of information. So where exactly did you come from? Like, what exactly is your background? Um, I was born in Carlton, which is a suburb of Melbourne, which is in Victoria. Carlton, yeah, okay. I personally never really he heard of it. How far away from here is it? Um, probably about twenty-five k's. Twenty-five, twenty-five yep. k's. Yeah, okay. So that's a decent uh my well. So yeah, okay. So next question: How long have you been at this school for? Um, nearly twenty years. Twenty years. Well, okay. So. What have you experienced in those 20 years you've been at school for? Uh, I've met a lot of children. I've helped a lot of children. Well, I hope I've helped a lot of children um, get to where they want to be. Do you feel like you're doing your job successfully? I think so. Ah, that's always good to hear. So what are your hobbies? Um, I like to play tennis. Um, I'll watch all sports, football, cricket, soccer, golf, anything. I so, like sports. So would you say tennis would be your favourite sport because you like to play tennis? Um, uh, 
probably, but I, I like netball too. I used to play netball, but retired from that. Oh, but yeah. How, I'm just curious. How long did you play net, netball for until you retired? Um, I retired at 57, and I started playing when I was about 10. Oh wow! So you've been oh you played that for a long time. Yes. Okay, that's that's very good. So, what was your last book you have read? Um, I can't remember the last book I read. It was a James Patterson. I just can't remember the novel, the name. Well, what sort of books do you like to read? Mostly crime mysteries. Crime mysteries. So you read a lot of those. So, 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 books. Uh, any particular types of book you, you like? You don't want to read at all. Um, not really into biographies. Okay, well, we all have things we don't really like to read. Uh, so yeah, thanks for telling us that. Um, next thing, what was your last holiday you went on? Uh, the last holiday I went on was the middle of this year. I went up to far north Queensland, right up to the Cape. How long were you up there for? Uh, six weeks. Six weeks. Oh, wow, that's a long time. So how much did you travel up there? Uh, well, we drove from Melbourne all the way up to the top of Australia. Wow, that's 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 a long car trip. And back. <laughs> oh, boy, that's... Yeah, okay, that's, that's a long car trip indeed, I must say. Okay, so... What was your last movie you watched? Um, it was a kids' movie called Storks. Kids' movie. I'm. Yep. <clears throat> I'm assuming you had some kids with you. Yeah, I had uh, two two of my little grandsons with me. Oh, no, nice. Uh, can you tell us their names? Uh, Balin and Chase. Ah, uh, Balin and Chase. So, how old are how old are they? They're five and nearly three. Five and nearly three. Okay, and one last thing, can you describe a year bit a year bit about the movie that you watched? Storks. Um, it was about uh, when they stopped delivering babies by storks, and they delivered parcels and different things, and then they went back to delivering babies. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you for that. Okay, now we are going to jump over to our audience for some viewer questions. 